Hello everyone. It is my third video of the series of Red Hat Ansible tutorial. Previous video we have seen that how to install Ansible, what is Ansible, what is the use of Ansible, how to run ad hoc commands. Okay. So the simple things we have done in the first two parts. Now in the third part, now we will deep dive into the Ansible also and we'll see how to write a playbook, okay? And uh, what is the format of uh, Ansible playbook? And then how to write a playbook, how to run the playbook and check if uh, there is any kind of error in your playbook means the syntax error, if there is any syntax error. So by running your playbook, because playbook can be a lengthy, okay? So, to check whether there is any syntax error or not. So I will also tell you how to check it. Okay, let, then let's go ahead into this tutorial. So uh, as um, uh, so just a recap that what is Ansible and what is our environment, the example environment which I have set up to demonstrate you, I will let you know on this. So uh, Ansible is nothing, it is an automation tool. Okay, so basically the information automation and as you know that this is the ansible node okay we can see the control node here okay and then control node make the sss connection to the managed host okay and now we will discuss about the playbook okay in this part uh, inventory you already know uh, inventory is nothing but the list of all um, managed host machines okay so uh, playbook is the rules okay means what type of commands and other rules configuration we want on this managed host. Okay, so this is the playbook. So let's go ahead. It is our environment. I have um, I have uh, set up uh, my AWS machine for demonstration purpose. So in my uh, so this is the screenshot of AWS console. So I have a control node here, as I told you, and I am having to manage node, manage host manage host one and manage host two. So in my control node, I am having two files, configuration, uh, Ansible uh, configuration files and inventory file. Uh, okay, uh, so I, I have already described in first two parts of it. So let me move ahead here. Okay, so let me discuss about what is the what is the uh, format of Ansible playbook. Okay, so Ansible playbook we um, uh, we write in the YAML format. Okay, if uh, you are not aware about the YAML format, so let me so let me explain uh, a little bit here. YAML format is a file. Uh, basically, the indentation is very important in YAML. Okay. If, Previously, we are having properties files. So, uh, some, 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 some. Um, uh, you, if you are aware of JSON file, okay. So, JSON file is also kind of describing the things. Property file is also same kind of thing, okay. So, same way YAML, but YAML is uh, you can say more readable. Uh, more readable uh, compared to property file and uh, uh, JSON file and the more powerful uh, compared to the property file, okay? So uh, by these three days, we start the document and then the indentation is very important here. If, uh, if there is, um, issue in indentation, then uh, YAML is the not valid document. Okay, so indentation is very, very, very important here. So uh, like we start a document, then a single dash, it, it is showing a segment, okay? So uh, by starting a dash, okay? So dash, then a space, and and then uh, the introduction, then some commands here, okay? Then then there is a sub, sub, sub segment are here, okay? So this is the format of uh, playbook. So the YAML format we follow. Okay, so let me go ahead here. Um, so how to write and run the playbook. So I will demonstrate you here. Okay, so um, this command is nothing, but actually as I told you, the indentation is very important in YAML, okay? Otherwise your YAML document is not, is not valid document. So to make sure your indentation is working good, you can run this, this is not mandatory, but you can run this command. Uh, it is the Vim, VimRC command basically. So basically set up your VimRC editor in your Linux machine. So it, it will just show you uh, some uh, kind of um, 
um, uh, you can say marking uh, to to so uh, you can I mean properly manage your YAML file indentation. Okay, so this is the playbook uh, we will uh, write. Okay, for for our example. Okay, so now let's uh, dive to uh, the demonstration. Okay, so. Uh, let me start here. Uh, okay, first let me create this uh, playbook, first basic playbook here. So I am going uh, to my PowerShell here. Okay, let. Okay, so we are in our uh, control node. So if I see what is in the in my inside my directory, so you can see Ansible configuration file here and inventory file here. I also created a, um, a directory here with the name of files. Let me show you the content of it also. So it is having a index dot file which we are now uh, place into our manage node. Okay, so if I show you the content of this file. So it is having an index.html, nothing else, and it is having two lines only. Uh, this is test page created by Tekkajendra. Okay. So now, now uh, what we need to do? Let me create a playbook first. Okay. So uh, command is here. We are creating this file. Okay. Okay. So line by line, I will also explain you that what we are doing here okay so let me first uh, copy the first section here okay so first section what we are doing okay so um, from three days we are starting the document then the section started so it is just the name of what we are going to achieve okay so what we will do we will install and start the apache and host means, as I told you, the host is very important. So this command, so this, this will be executed into the host one. So whatever we have uh, um, um, defined in the in our inventory file, so the uh, so in the host one, uh, all these uh, uh, tasks and our other things will be happen. Okay, so um, okay. Now let's move to the uh, next section. Okay, next section, let me start here and then I will also explain you. Okay, so as I told you, indentation is very much important here, okay? So, just a minute. Let me properly copy it and then paste it okay so um, so uh, why maintaining the indent indentation okay now uh, uh, we have to maintain the indentation properly okay so okay let me correct it okay so now it is correct so so task okay so um, these tasks would be run into the host one so first task what we are running we are we are ensuring that Apache 2 package is present. Okay, if Apache 2 project, Apache 2 is not there into the host one, then what it will do? It will um, run the this uh, um, um, uh, package manager. Yeah, it will check the uh, why running the package man yum package manager. It will check whether Apache 2 is present or not. If it is not present, then it will uh, install it. Okay, and we'll make sure that this uh, Apache 2 is present. Okay, so this was the first one. Uh, okay, now let I'm copying to the second one. What it will do, I will also explain you. Okay, uh, I think so. This you here. Because this should be start from the column uh, row of column five, okay? So column five is it, okay? So I have to give one more space here. Uh, name, okay? So what it will do? It will, um, so it will ensure that correct index dot HTML is present or not. So here we are using copy module, okay? So in in our um, um, uh, second uh, uh, part of tutorial i have shown you i have told you that what is module so it will it is using copy module here 
and uh, it is taking two parameters for copy module one is source and destination okay source is our local machine which is our control node okay so as i to say so you that inside files i am have i have created a index.html file so now what this module will ensure that it will copy this index.html from local machine to the destination okay this destination is the host one okay so now I'll copy the third task here. Okay, so this is a service module, and what this service module will do? It will start the Apache to service. Okay, where at the host one. Okay, so it will start. Okay, so what it will do is Apache to service start and enabled also. Okay, enabling. And starting the Apache to service. So, so it is our complete up file. Okay. So let's save it. Okay. So we are having playbook basic.yaml file inside our Ansible directory now. Now let first do first what would check. Let me first check the syntax okay so we have uh, finished this part okay now let's move to the so uh, next slide so here it is uh, running uh, and uh, verifying the syntax okay and uh, verifying the syntax and then running the uh, playbook okay so for verifying syntax this is the command okay ansible dash playbook dash dash syntax check and then name of your playbook okay so Okay, so it's run successful. Okay, if there was any kind of syntax error, then it show you if the this command will would show you as an error. Okay, but the our playbook is clean, so it's it's showing its success. Okay, now let's run this command, run this playbook. So running playbook is nothing; just you need to uh, give this command and symbol dash playbook, then your playbook name. Okay, which is our uh, playbook dash basic dot yaml. So I am running it now. Let's see if it is executed without any error. But I have started. Okay, so everything looking fine here. Our uh, uh, file ran successful. So let's check whether it has installed uh, the Apache and also uh, we'll check whether our index page is visible or not okay so you so as i told you it is our uh, aws console it is our manage host one okay and uh, uh, also make sure that everything means security wise is everything is there so i have already opened all the port here 80 port i have already opened for it okay so make sure once you will do also to check whether your port and security group is configured correctly okay now if i open it and let me let i'm open it in http okay not in https okay see so uh, this is test page created by tejendra okay so we have see that how uh, ansible um, um, uh, first uh, did these things okay let me again so this is screen okay First, it's gathered all the facts from where? From this machine. This is our host one machine. Okay. And then it makes sure that Apache 2 package present. Okay. And then it copied the index.html inside the, the given directory. And then it started the Apache 2 server. Okay. So uh, that's all for this tutorial. That was the basic one. From uh, next tutorial, uh, we will uh, we will go into the more deep into the Ansible and we'll write more complex Ansible files, okay, playbook files, and we'll see more complex Ansible um, uh, Ansible functions like Vault, okay, security, and many more networking features, okay. Uh, in uh, in some upcoming videos thanks everyone for uh, uh, for watching this video